and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the best e-bike For $4,000, if you had $4,000 to spend, what e-bike would you buy? We're talking the regular price of the bike, not a sale price, but if you had to pay full price and you had $4,000 to spend, what bike would you pick? Now, the reason why I'm choosing this as a topic to talk about today is because, if you didn't already know, I recently purchased the Lyric Graffiti X and the manufacturer's suggested retail price is $39.99 and so so that's the bike I've chosen to be my next bike but I'm wondering what you would pick now I'm talking about a bike that's not modified or anything in any way you're just buying it from whomever the company is Because the modifications, well, to me, in this particular, uh, what I'm talking about won't, won't count. I'm just wondering what other people think they would choose as a bike. I know, first of all, you got to pick the style of bike, right? I happen to like the style of the bike I'm on right now, the Lyric Graffiti. And uh, so, uh, so that's why I would choose that style first of all. And, and you know, after checking out what's out there, at least in my uh, mind, I chose the Nerf Graffiti X. Because for my $39.99 uh, retail price, I think it's the best uh, bike for that money out there. I, I mean, I might be wrong. I'm not saying I'm no doubt correct, but that's the one I've chosen. and. And I mean, part of that is because I am familiar with this bike. And so that helps in the decision making for me. But um, when you look around though, first of all, for this style of bike, the Scrambler style bike, uh, and 60 volt, I mean, the one that I, I thought about, and I've, I've thought about this in the past and ended up not doing it, but I, I was really thinking about the, uh, the Onyx City 2. And that's a great comparable to the, um, to the Graffiti X as far as what it has on the bike, like the, uh, all the, components and all is pretty similar right except for the style in my opinion the style of the graffiti x uh, blows the other one out of the water as far as uh you know the looks go and that style of bike i, I just like that better than the uh city two now the city two looks to me like the old mopeds that i remember from the 70s so I would say that looks more like a moped style 
like I say old school from the 70s if you uh, remember back then if you're old enough to remember that um, to me that's kind of the way they looked you pedaled like mad to get it going and then you off you went but uh that's the only one that I can think of that's I mean you've got the uh, you got the goat power bikes but those are a little bit like the controller like there's a little less uh, power there I think than the uh, and the motor's not quite as big it's a smaller it's a 2000 watt motor these ones are three on the graffiti x and peaking at 7200 so but the goat power bikes also are a lot cheaper like they're 2500 or less so that's about 1500 dollars less and the Onyx uh, City 2, I believe, is running at, I believe it's $34.99 regular price. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. But uh, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of 60-volt uh, bikes out there that are like the Scrambler style. But if you um, know a bike that you would throw in there and say uh, would be your choice, go ahead and leave that in the comments uh, below. Share that with others here. and I'm curious to see what, uh, what you all would choose as your bike. Because I know not everybody would, you know, we don't all have the same tastes. And we're all speculating, right, when you, unless you get on the bike yourself, I mean, you can go by somebody else's word, but maybe the way they ride or where they're riding um, is different than where you ride and how you ride. So, I mean, that means something too. So you have $4,000 to spend, we're talking U.S. money, what bike would you pick? What would you choose? I've chosen the Graffiti X, and now I want to see what everyone else uh, chooses to ride. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for supporting us. And just hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Once again, if you want to comment on the video and let us know what bike you would choose for $4,000 or less, uh, just put that in the comments below. And thank you for joining me on this video. And we'll catch you on the next one. Until then... Keep your wheels on the road.